The Archie Wedding was published in 2010. It's a simple concept. There are three chapters showing what would happen if Archie married Veronica, followed by three chapters of what would happen if Archie married Betty. As a Betty fan, I want to know why Betty comes second. She should come first. It's the Betty and Veronica series, not the Veronica and Betty series. Argle Funk Book Review, Argle Funk Book Review. In the Veronica story, everyone graduates from college. Archie asks everyone about their future plans. Jughead's the only one who doesn't have a job waiting for them in another state. I'm jealous. I wish I had a job waiting for me when I graduated college. Also, I can't believe Betty and Veronica both made plans to move out of state tomorrow. They didn't tell Archie! That's the sort of thing you would tell your longtime boyfriend, right? Archie's parents give him a check for graduation. He spends it on a diamond ring and proposes to Veronica. This proves to be a great career move, as Mr. Lodge instantly gives Archie a high-level job. Archie lets Betty down gently, while Veronica asks Betty to be her maid of honor. Betty gets a new boyfriend who's an Archie clone. Veronica's wedding is extremely big and gaudy. A year later, Archie's a high-level businessman. He learns Reggie is out of work, so he makes up a job just for Reggie. Seven pages later, they learn Betty was fired. Now she's single and broke. Archie and Veronica do not help Betty get a job. Reggie gets a pity job, but Betty does not. Poor Betty. Veronica announces she's pregnant. Archie and Jughead have clumsy accidents during Lama's classes. Archie is also clumsy when taking Veronica to the hospital. She has twins named Archie and Veronica. In the Betty story, everyone graduates from college. Archie is interrupted whenever he tries talking to Veronica, so he talks to Betty instead. He's so serious that Betty thinks he wants to go steady, but no, Archie asks Betty to marry him. Veronica's mad until she decides she can date the Prince of England. Both of them. Archie lets Veronica down gently, while Betty asks Veronica to be her maid of honor. Veronica tries to upstage Betty by wearing a fancy dress to the wedding. She changes her mind when she sees Betty is so poor, she can't afford a wedding cake. Betty quits her job in New York when her boss is mean to Archie. The couple moves back to Riverdale, where they get jobs at the high school. You can decide for yourself if it's realistic for Mr. Weatherby to hire Archie, when Archie has no teaching degree. The next time Archie sees Jughead is a year later. I can't believe that. Archie went a whole year without talking to his best friend? Why not? They live in the same town. Furthermore, Jughead now owns Pop Tates. You're telling me Archie did not visit Pops once in a full year? The most unbelievable part is that Jughead married Midge. Jughead got married without telling Archie. If I was Archie, I'd be pretty mad that I wasn't invited to the wedding. Betty announces she's pregnant. Archie is clumsy when taking Betty to the hospital. She has twins named Archie and Betty. The end. Postbook follow-up. This book is written by Michael Uslin, producer of several Batman movies. No offense to Uslan, but I think this book needed two authors. One for the Veronica story, and one for the Betty story. Both stories hit the same plot points in the same order. Everyone graduates. Archie proposes. They tell the parents there's a wedding. Archie has work struggles. The wife gets pregnant. And Archie is a doofus when taking his wife to the hospital to give birth to twins that are named after their parents. That's a lot of similarities. It's definitely telling the same basic story twice in a row. Having a different author for one of the stories would add some variation to the plot. That's my main complaint, the two stories are too similar. It's a little disappointing that Archie's life will be the same no matter who he marries. Betty and Veronica aren't that interchangeable, are they? It's like Jughead deciding between a cheeseburger and a hamburger with cheese. Why should I care when he gets the same thing either way? 
I'm being more critical than I need to be. This is more of a fun what-if story that gives everyone a happy ending. It's not a deep dive into Archie's life and future. It feels like a typical Archie comic, and it wouldn't have been out of place if it had been released in the 1960s instead of 2010. I give the Archie wedding, Archie in Will You Marry Me, a 7 out of 10.